God damn it. I'm having trouble hitting the button. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> there could be a joke made about that <laughs> but no this is Smackdown Live it is live <laughs> apparently it is we still don't know we can't verify that and he kicks the show off with a return who could it be? It's the SmackDown Commissioner. Oh, great. Shane McMahon. So he was suspended for all of a week. <laughs> Pretty great. much. Well, was there any point? Not really. You probably had some going on and you could <laughs> make them safe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Christ almighty. Yeah. And he's, he's condemned the heinous... Oh. Attack from Kevin Owens on his father, Vincent Kennedy. <laughs> she called his dad a salty, grumpy SOB. <laughs> it's nice. And he said he's taken Kevin Owens to hell. Ooh. Yeah. Just don't go jumping off of the cell again. No, I'm Shane. calling it now. He's going to jump through the middle. Because it's the only other thing they could do. Mm-hmm. Damn it. It's got our preview for... I oh, don't know. No, we can do that in a bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I suppose that would make sense. Yeah, jump through the middle. It's a bit safer. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Oh, uh, yep. So, and after Shane was done ranting and raving about Kevin Owens, we got the hard-hitting action started. Oh, lovely. Unfortunately, we had Randy Orton in action oh against Aiden English. Oh, no. Apparently, trying to uh, get some vengeance back for a cheap victory he got. Aiden English got over him about four months ago, apparently. It was a DQ victory. It's not like he actually beat him <laughs> Oh no, or, this is Randy. Or stupidly got himself disqualified. And guess what, people? You, you, you're never going to guess how this match ended. <sighs> well. <laughs> okay, oh, I don't know why. Yeah, it, it wasn't even a new one. I mean, we've seen him do this a thousand times. It's the normal opponent jumps off the top rope and Orton just manages to catch him. Just a little bit. Only just. It's like he nearly messed it up. <laughs> he nearly effed it up, didn't he? It's like he just about managed to grab him. Yeah. So, yeah, great. Ah! Oh. Oh. And then we had handsome Rusev. Oh, yes. Come to the ring. And he wanted a piece of the Viper. Yeah, he wanted a match right now for redemption at SummerSlam. Yeah. And Orton agreed to it. He was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Because Orton's allowed to make matches now. Hmm. Yeah, but Aiden English was still in the area. And he caused the distraction. And Rusev took advantage of this. Yep, Rusev hit a super kick. Which God knows no one uses enough recently. <laughs> we need more super kicks. And he picked up the one, two, three. So Rusev... I've got to say, the, the backstage segment where Rusev celebrating his victory was hilarious. He was like, yes, I beat him, I beat the life. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like he just had been through a match. <laughs> oh dear boy, boy. Okay, we're gonna try and keep this as short and sweet as possible. Jinder Mahal should never ever do promos ever again. In fact, the guy should never speak again. It's be an improvement. You, you remember last week when Jinder tried to take a different approach and tried to be funny, 
and none of the crowd were laughing. Well, this was kind of similar. Except this week he decided to get racist. Oh, dear. <sighs> Drop the belt immediately and just get off of our televisions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they did the whole thing with pictures of Nakamura on the TV again. And it was like, this is what he looks like when he's happy. This is what he looks like when he's angry. Yeah, and I think didn't he, didn't he like poke fun at the way he speaks and that? Yeah, yes he did. Yeah. And then of course you had the goon squad again going, oh yeah, this is this is hilarious. And none of the crowd were into this at all. No. It, it was perfect. They need to do the right thing. Hell in a cell, because you know they're not going to make him drop the belt before hell in a cell. If he doesn't lose it, I mean, Jesus, he's done nothing with the belt. Right. Business has improved none. No one cares. They tried bringing in the great Carly, who's heralded in India like a national hero. That mm. didn't do anything. <laughs> Cut your losses and move on, Vince. It's not going to happen. In the project has failed. Mm -hmm. The gender experiment needs to finish. Yeah. But don't worry, the show got a lot better. We then add in the ring, the face that runs the place. Uh, the United States champion, AJ Styles. Yep, he's going to be defending his belt in the US Open Challenge. But who's going to answer it? Well, we knew who was going to answer <laughs> it, they said it last week. <laughs> yeah. My wife's favourite. Oh dear. The miserable Baron. And he looked pretty miserable today. Extra miserable. <laughs> but he didn't quite get to the ring. No. <laughs> he got attacked by the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. Awesome. Well, to be fair, he pretty much cost him his cash in a few weeks back. Even though AJ did give him the match couple of weeks later but he did but no the, the match never actually got started no nah, because high was putting the beat down on the baron it was like he injured his leg and baron was in the ring and they were like so are we gonna start this match and baron was like no no i'm hurt i'm hurt i can't do it <laughs> and aj thought oh screw it he put him in the calf crusher anyway <laughs> and baron was tapping out going oh my leg yeah. And that's how it ended for the miserable Baron. And in a backstage segment, he said he was going to get revenge. Uh -oh. And then limped off. And then, we had another return. Yay! Oh, Corey Graves loved this. And Sam loved it. I did, I did love it. <laughs> the Queen, she's back on SmackDown. At last. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, after a while, it was interrupted by a rather unsavoury character. Oh, Jesus. Someone who we couldn't care less about. And let's not forget, she is Mrs. Irrelevant of SmackDown. She is. Even with the belt. The belt is now irrelevant. <laughs> and guess what? A running trend like on Raw, but with a slight twist. Charlotte's going to be in a fatal four-way to decide who's going to be facing Natalia for the women's title. Yep, this promo was just a constant stream of interruptions by various people saying they wanted the belt. Mm. Natalia with a random picture of herself to celebrate Great. women everywhere. Four out of ten. <laughs> nah, it's too much. <laughs> She's not worth more than a two. So yeah, Daniel Bryan came out, and he was like, yep, fatal four-way match, winner goes on to Hell in a Cell. But is it going to be in a Hell in a Cell? <laughs> no, not this time. No one wants to see Natalia in a Hell in a Cell. She would somehow make it more boring. <laughs> oh, and then we 
had some tag team action next. Uh oh. We had the New Day versus Sam's favourite tag team of oh, all time. Yeah. The Hype Bros. Damn these two. They suck. It didn't go too well for the Hype Bros again. Nope. <laughs> You know, what is commonly becoming a coincidence, the Hype Bros got derailed. Mm. And Zack Ryder took the midnight owl. And Billy Idol was still crying more, more, more. Then we have to mention that the boozos were at ringside. Ugh. Just spouting rap gibberish. Really? Mm. Rap shit? Yeah. I couldn't understand a word they were saying. Well, these are the idiots that come up with one day is H. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and again, some heated animosity between the hype bros after the match. Yeah, it's like if we're going to continue as a tag team, things have got to change. And they vowed to make a change. Well, what's the change? Are they going to be heel hype, bro? Oh, oh, oh. They're not going to get hype. <laughs> no, they're going to stop the hype. <laughs> oh, it's bad. I can see him doing it as well. <laughs> yeah, they're going to start pointing to the crowd. <laughs> you ain't hype. Oh, man. <laughs> they will. Are they going to do it? <laughs> We're hyped, you're not hyped. <laughs> ah, next we had a video package via satellite. Kevin Owens addressing the McMahon situation. Oh dear. And guess what? Kevin Owens doing some amazing work. And he said, look, this isn't on me. It's all Shane's fault that Ooh. this has happened to his dad. Oh, no. His fault. All of this bad stuff's happening. And there's nobody else to blame but Shane. You see, I wouldn't have had Kevin Owens apologise to Vince. I'd have said, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't do it sooner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we saw like little sneak snippets of... Uh, when he uh, turned his back on the Dodo Universe back in <laughs> NXT. Oh. When he took out Sami Zayn. Oh, man. And he said it was Sami Zayn's fault that he had to, that he had to put him down. It's terrible. It wasn't Sami Zayn's fault. He's an amazing <laughs> athlete. The new people's champion. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear lord. So that was uh, Kevin Owens then. He got treated once again to the re debut of <sighs> Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, it still hasn't happened. So what did he have for us this week? Oh, you're not going to like this. It came out to a familiar tune of Motorhead. Oh, you done Triple H. He did Triple H. And he's probably going to be getting quite a nasty phone call from Triple H in the morning. Oh dear. Because he came out with an epic line of, Daddy, look, I can spit water. Let me run NXT. Ooh. And it was like, don't, too much. Too much. Then, he come out of Shawn Michaels' entrance. Oh. But then no, after, no. he wasn't done then and if you get where the running trend is going here he then done DX's entrance yeah see <laughs> and then he ran down them too and said oh yeah l l look at us a couple of dads making dick jokes and yeah. buy our merchandise it was like Jesus Dolph I hope you got clearance for this otherwise you're going to be in a lot of trouble Yeah, so that was Dolph for but no, another week. He said the crowd still wasn't ready to see him. They don't care about him, and he doesn't care about them. Cheers, Dolph. See you doing the same crap next week. Yep. And then we had our main event for the evening. Ooh. The Fatal 4-Way. 
to decide who will be facing Natalia at Hell in a Cell. Oh my god. It was the Queen <laughs> versus Becky Lynch, Tamina, oh. and Naomi. Doesn't matter what they do, Tamina will never be ravishing. And of course, Tamina had a advisor, yeah. whatever the hell she's Man- meant to be. Manager? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, it seems very quickly they were doing this massive push of that Lana being a women's wrestler, and except for a couple of matches with Naomi, it's not really come to anything. No, I mean, what, it was about a month ago she had that match with Charlotte, which mm. Charlotte just destroyed her. <laughs> no. If they were going to be serious about her doing wrestling, they should have at least given her bit more training. Mm. Not stick her straight in with the SmackDown Women's Champion straight off the bat. Yeah. Because it showed exactly how lacking in skill she is. Mm. And she's not a bad wrestler. But she wasn't ready. She was better than Eva Marie. Well, yeah. <laughs> but then again, you could probably make the argument we're better wrestlers than Eva <laughs> Marie. <laughs> Yeah, that and match. Yeah, it was okay, I guess. For the women's match. Again, though, outside interference. Yeah, a little bit. Not a lot, but you were just used to it. You know, Lana causing a few distractions. Yeah. But at least there was no Carmella this week. Oh, thank Christ for that. We got, like, a clean ending. Mm, no Ellsworth, either. No, not no Ellsworth and his dog collar. Shit within one's telling. But no! The ending of this match was Tamina eating a big boo. Yeah. And the Queen picked up the victory. Which no one saw coming. Uh, oh god. That is exactly like you said. They're running on this whole Ric Flair thing. They, yeah, they're, gonna, they're gonna tug at our heartstrings. And don't be surprised if she wins the title off on Natalia at Heaven. No, I could see it coming easily. That was Smackdown for this week. Yeah. That'll do it. Slightly better show than Raw. Yes, just a bit. We just need to get rid of Jinder now and we'll be alright. Okay, that'll that wrap things up. From your hosts, the master of the brain damage. Martin and the one and only Sam H. We'll see you again for the next one. EJR! <laughs>